Good morning, everyone. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day from Penelope the Squirrely Prepper. Now, I'm going to show you what my husband got for me for Valentine's Day, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for him for Valentine's Day. Now, you know, I spent quite a bit of money. He spent quite a bit of money, not as much as I did, and mine is going to be more time. Um, we don't go out to dinner. Um, we don't do those kind of things. We pretty much stay home. We don't spend a whole lot of money. So this, this year I decided to spend some money and so did he. Now, in the past, in our early marriage, he got me a 12 inch um, cast iron skillet with the four inch chicken fryer with the glass lid and he filled it with candy. And that was probably my favorite Valentine's Day gift of all. I don't want flowers. I don't want candy because I do candy deals, which is coming up by the way. Be ready. There'll be a candy haul soon. Like within the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing a candy haul at Kroger with all my coupons. So anyway, back to what I got. We walked in to Gilman's, which is our hardware store in our area. And we were going up to the register and the, the cashier guy says, what well, did you get your pitchfork? And my husband's like, go get it. <laughs> so this is what I got for Valentine's Day. It's practical, it's something that I absolutely need, and I love it. It was a little pricey though, $45 for a pitchfork. What the heck? But he told me that we will go and look for some of the older ones. Um, there is a guy that sells a lot of older equipment in his, house, or in his front yard, and I'd really like to see if he has any old pitchforks. And my husband said if we find a good pitchfork and it has a bad handle, he'll do that for me too. But this is the one I got. This is actually a manure fork, but it will work for what I want. I need something to dip out the straw. I need something to turn over in my compost, and this might work. Um, the one that was a little more expensive, the tines, there were more tines, and I'm not sure what that one was called, but it was real flimsy. So we, we, we chose this one. But this was my Valentine's Day gift, <laughs> and I love it. Okay, so... When you're on a budget, you know, sometimes you might do a little bit of expenditure, especially with someone you love and someone that you want to give them something that they absolutely love. Well, a couple of weeks ago, or a couple of weekends ago, my husband um, bought lobster tails. He's done this twice, and I was like, he really likes them. So, guess what I did? I bought him eight lobster tails okay now they are $13.98 for two of them which makes them $6.99 a piece so I, I picked the biggest ones that I could pick I also got him a large bag of shrimps and some cocktail sauce and I'm going to tell you what I spent um, I spent $71.79 now the way I rationalize this you would never be able to get this at a restaurant and sit down in your pajamas and watch TV and crack these shells open and have a good feast. Now, what I'm also going to do is you saw that I bought the over the oversized potatoes. Um, I normally would never buy potatoes for 50 cents a piece. I would always buy a bag, but they were very nice, huge potatoes. And I thought a very big overstuffed potato with bacon, broccoli, cheese, sour cream, butter, um, and all of the fixins would be a great ad for this meal. Something else I did for him, and I don't know if I'm happy I did it or not. If you know me, you know that I've gotten lots of uh, the mozzarella sticks when they were on, on sale, the Farm Ridge deal, and I eat, I eat them every now and again, and my husband's like, well, you know, I would eat some too if I had marinara sauce, and I'm like, well, I'm never gonna buy you marinara sauce, because I don't want you to eat my cheese sticks. But today, I went ahead and got ragu marinara sauce, it is a chunky pasta marinara sauce, but I think he'll be okay with it because he can have some cheese sticks with me when we do our meal tomorrow. And I am going to do it tomorrow. He works tomorrow. I don't. So when he comes home and starts relaxing, I'll start making shrimp and lobsters and baked potatoes. Mmm, that just sounds good to me. I'm ready to eat it now. Something else I did for my husband was I got the Yoplait yogurt. Okay, it was on sale. 
ah, there we go. And what I noticed the last time I did a yogurt deal was a couple weekends ago on a Friday and Saturday. They had the eight packs of the Yoplait yogurt, and it was half peach, half strawberry. Well, I got in, into there the other day, and all of the peach yogurts were gone. I was like, what the heck? Where are, the, where are they? He had hit them because he didn't want me to eat the peach ones. I'm like, really? I'll eat strawberry. I don't care. It's yogurt. I'm eating it for my health. But since I got him to eat yogurt, I was very excited. So I did the Yoplait yogurt deal for him, and I got peach, and then I got a few blueberries because he said he liked blueberry yogurt as well. So we got him some fancy yogurts. So I think he did pretty well. And I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Leave some of your favorite Valentine's Days you've gotten or you've given. Now, for me, giving him this will absolutely tickle him. All you got to do is make some drawn butter, throw those in the Instant Pot, thaw out the shrimp, have some cocktail sauce, make some big, big, big potatoes with bacon and broccoli and cheese and onions and just sour cream, butter, everything. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait till tomorrow's meal. Actually, I will probably eat two of these, so you'll only get six. Just saying. You all have a great Valentine's Day. Leave some comments down below. Share, like, and subscribe. You all have a great day. Bye, y'all. Hugs. Happy Valentine's Day.